to the Gates Circle Hospital implosion is over tonight. Early this morning, Buffalo leaders pushed the button to start the implosion and sent the giant cloud of debris into the air as crowds cheered on. Good evening, everyone. Hundreds of people gathered to watch the old Millard Fillmore Gates Circle Hospital come crumbling down. News Force Katie Alexander was in the crowd and shows us what's next. It is a very different picture here now. The former Millard Fillmore Hospital coming down in just a matter of seconds. That, the building that had been a Buffalo landmark for more than a century was reduced to rubble, with dust shooting high in the air and city leaders breathing a sigh of relief that all went down as planned. This was an event. An implosion was an event, and it was history. And it went exactly how you would like it to have gone? Absolutely, exactly. Down <laughs> quickly. Common Council President Darius Pridgen joined Mayor Byron Brown and leaders with the construction and development teams to detonate upwards of 600 pounds of explosives that had been wired up inside. Hundreds of people turned out to try to get the best view of the demolition of this building that has meant so much to so many people over the years. People worked here, people were born here, people passed away here with loved ones surrounding them. Uh, but it is progress. It is a new day in the city of Buffalo, and this will make way for more jobs and more opportunities for this community. First step, cleanup. The twisted steel now littering the lot will be taken away to be recycled, while a lot of the concrete and brick will be recycled on site, becoming backfill for the new $150 million mixed-use development planned for the property. Phase one will be the construction of the new Canterbury Woods complex. It will be uh, the first and only continuing care retirement community in an urban area in all of New York State. The site should be shovel ready in two or three months with a groundbreaking plan for early next year. Contractors handling this phase of the project spent the rest of the day doing a post implosion survey, looking at the area buildings for any signs of damage. They would be responsible for paying for that. Reporting in Buffalo, Katie Alexander, News 4.